what is up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So if you missed my video about a week ago, Bohemia have been hyping up this new IP they've been releasing exclusively on Xbox and I have reached out to Bohemia and I've confirmed it is indeed Xbox exclusive. This might change in the future, before the launch it is going to be Xbox exclusive which is a bit of a shame really. But yeah, I've been hyping up this new game for a week now, it's on the Unreal Engine 4 and finally today we get to see some gameplay, we got to see the trailer which you just seen a second ago which was streamed on their mixer.com slash Bohemia Interactive channel and they'd also talk about a decent amount of details with the game. You would have seen the map right there just a second ago. It looks to be about 20 to 30 square kilometers with, I'm guessing, four exits. So this game essentially is very much so like Escape from Tarkov or, I guess, Hunt Showdown, if you want to say that as well, in the sense that there's uh, 12 people, they said, in the interview, which go in, although on the website it says 8 to 16, so I'm guessing up to 16 people go into a round, and then you loot around for weaponry, for ammo, for um, supplies to upgrade your base with, you go back and you do upgrade your base, which is something which is going to be added to Escape from Tarkov eventually as well, but it's cool to see we've got it in this game already, and you can also bring certain weaponry in with you if you want to risk losing it. If you die, you will lose everything, much so in Escape from Tarkov 2. And also, if you want to bring some stuff back and put it into your stash, then you can do that as well. So that way you can bring it into a later raid or whatever you want to call it as well. But it also explicitly say this is not a Battle Royale game, but the meta tags in their website do actually say Battle Royale, so clearly they are looking to get a piece of the pie, which they kind of ironically were a part in the creation of, with Armor 2 and Armor 3 being where the Battle Royale mod first started out years and years ago. So this game is going to be released as a free-to-play title in 2019, I don't know how they're going to monetize that, but we'll see. And it is also going to be releasing to the Xbox Close Preview later on in 2018, which I'll have a link to in the description if you do want to sign up for that. Now, I did personally sign up for it. Am I going to record footage on it? I genuinely don't know. Are you guys interested in this game? If so, maybe. There's definitely some cool looking stuff, uh, some real detail put into the world, which is awesome. I'm happy to see Bohemia just using an engine which isn't their proprietary engine. They have clearly done something pretty cool with their first venture into the Unreal Engine. And in case you're wondering why are Bohemia doing this, this is not their first rodeo. They launched an incubator kind of um, division to Bohemia a while ago. I guess they made a bunch of money with Armor Free and with Daisy, and they were like, Fuck it, dude. Let's make some crazy new ideas. So, since then, since they launched the Incubator, they've had Argo, hasn't really done too well. They've had Wildlands, hasn't really done too well. And now, of course, we have this, which is an Xbox exclusive title. We're trying to do something a bit more out there. We're trying to innovate, kind of, not really too much with this game. And not really with other two games either. But it seems like we see a gap in the market. There's no EFT experience on the Xbox. So if it works out, it works out. And they make a crazy amount of money. If it doesn't, then so be it. They've already made their money time and time again over on Armor Free and Daisy. But yeah, in terms of uniqueness in this game, it doesn't really seem like there's anything too unique. You can salvage weaponry, you can find airdrops in the world, which you can get obviously higher tier weaponry from and higher tier parts for weapons and stuff like that. Other than that, it's uh, based in 1991, the nuclear war is over, as you would have seen from the hype, there was an atom bomb which hit Central Europe, and it is based in Norway for the last stand, in which you are going to be experiencing a cutthroat survival experience, allegedly. He stars on name as Outlander, but who will you become? No time for uncertainty, run a shelter into your home, run, sorry, turn a shelter into your home, fight, run or hide, Tis take risks, claim rewards, survive a cutthroat experience. There we see right there, guys, the cutthroat experience quotation. The problem I see with this is there's no PvE threat, okay? I think I've already said that, but there's no PvE threat. So it's PvP only, with 16 players per map, and, you know, they said, you don't know when you're going to run on, run into anyone, you don't know if, if you're going to run into anyone, you could just run straight to an exit if you did so desire, I'm not sure if you spawn enough a map or not. Um, ultimately, it's like a lot of looting, and then maybe you'll run across someone and you can steal all that stuff. Maybe. Anyway, that is literally it for their new game, which is called Vigor, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that already, but it's called Vigor, vigorgame.com, go check it out. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I'm kind of upset, but at the same time, we'll see. And while we're here, hey ho, we may as well talk about another Battle Royale game, although the first one wasn't one. Whatever. This is Mavericks, it's an 1,000 player Battle Royale experience. I just want to give you guys my opinion on it and tell you a bit about it. So, you would have seen it at the start, right there, that's a social area where you'll be able to socialize with people and, I guess, trade with people and stuff. But the actual map is obviously a massive open world with 1,000 players, like I said. We have a 
the Proven Grounds game mode, which is Battle Royale, and then you also have an open world version, which is kind of like EFT, where you will actually save your gear, there'll be extraction, so it's kind of like a round-based system, so it's not really a traditional open world game. But those are two game modes. It does concern me a bit, but as you see right here, there's already skins in the game before the game even releases, and the CEO does look 12. I think in a thousand player Battle Royale game, isn't gonna work. That's way too many players. It's gonna require a pretty tip-top notch engine to make that work. And normally with more players per server, there comes, you know, a reduced combat experience. It's the reason why some of the earlier MMOs had very weak combat experiences. Nailing down a fun combat experience, especially a first-person shooter combat experience with so many players is incredibly hard. And this action right here with a stuttering AK and as a whole, considering it's scripted, it just doesn't look anything too amazing. I personally think Mavericks is going to suck, but the first 100,000 people to register for it on their website, mavericks.gg, also linked in the description, will get access into their early access program. There is some kind of subscription model as well, where you do get extra um, cosmetics and stuff like that, but as a whole, it is supposed to be a free-to-play game or something. I don't know, the whole thing confuses me, but yeah, that's that's Mavericks Proving Grounds right there as well. 1,000 player... Battle Royale game on the CryEngine. I don't think it's going to work, but, you know, you prove me wrong, Mr. 12-year-old CEO, and I'll play it. And I will also play it on release regardless. And actually, as a whole, considering Battle Royale games have always been a big part of my channel, the entire E3 conference, you might wonder what even was shown in terms of Battle Royale games during E3. I mean, we've just seen two of them, if you want to count them as both Battle Royale, the first one. Nah. But uh, there was a RTS, or not an RTS, an isometric game shown by Tiny Build. There was obviously this game as well. And there was also Battlefield 5 Battle Royale, which I am too, also to share my opinion on that one. I'm excited for that one as well. I think Battle Royale with uh, their engine, the destructibility, which this game also does have destructibility. But let's be real for a second. Frostbite does a much better job and it runs amazing. The netcode's pretty solid. I'm excited to see that experience. But as far as I can remember off the top of my head, I think those were the three Battle Royale games which were actually shown the entire event. Scum was also shown, in case you guys missed a video recently on Scum. Uh, they did deliver game to August 2018. That is not really a Battle Royale game, but it definitely could go in that direction considering the theme of a TV show. So I guess only time will tell. Bit of a shame it was delayed from Q2. This is the third time it's been delayed, starting out 2017, then Q1, then Q2, and now August 2018. But at least we're getting a smaller deadline, you know, instead of just 2017, we then get a quarter, quarter one, quarter two. And now we have just one month, the month of August, a month after my birthday. In fact, maybe just a few days after my birthday, Scum will be released and we'll see how it is. I'm still excited for a bunch of games uh, that are going to be coming out, mainly Fallout 76. Uh, I'm not a big Fallout fan, but the multiplayer idea with the PvP and stuff like that... It sounds awesome, and I have complete faith in Bethesda. They've delivered some really, really awesome titles in the past. I would have preferred a new Velda Scrolls, but whatever, I'll deal with it. Anyway, that's it for this video. It's just a quick short one. I'd love to hear what you guys think about both Vigor and also Mavericks Proving Grounds. Are they gonna both suck, or are they gonna maybe one of them's gonna be good? It's an issue of PC titles, I'd say. More often than not, they suck. Console titles, they look awesome, they deliver. There's a lot of money behind them, and there's a lot of pressure to actually make a good product. PC games a lot of the time, they just take your money, and they run. <laughs> Star Citizen. 2014 release date, by the way. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.